Or maybe a daughter? Scott wondered. He wasn't quite sure for this design of Golden, well, Golden Trap's child. William was usually the one who added, who added out the fine details and the costumes. For Scott, he was a little out of his comfort zone. Purple paused. He cupped his cheeks. Wait. He had been a bit distracted by cuddling Scott. Why did Scott bring up a daughter? Or, wait, wait, had he just said son? And he mentioned Golden and Spring. Did, did Scott mean he knew where Spring was? Purple closed his eyes and focused. What had Scott just said? What had Scott just said? Scott was in an entirely different world. He was still verbal processing for his new animatronic design. I haven't decided on their gender yet, he said. Gender to him didn't make a lick of sense. He was fortunate enough where he felt secure in his own gender. However, two of his children, Daisy and Isaac, had asked him a millions of questions concerning about boys and girls and whatever is in between. Isaac had once said that they didn't feel like a boy or a girl. And Daisy decided that she felt like she could be both. Scott had decided and told his own children as such. As long as they kept him in the loop and told him how he could best support them, he would not care whatever they decided to be, or really whatever they learned about themselves. But now, with this view, how does Scott pick a gender for his newest creation when he, when the creation can't voice it himself and Scott doesn't understand gender? Yeah, he's a little stuck. Purple, however, had finally connected the dots. Scott was making a daughter or a son or whatever for Spring Bonnie and Golden Freddy? You're, you're making them a child? A baby? He snapped up. He screeched. Scott jumped up at the sound. He had nearly forgotten Purple was there. He was in his own little world. <sighs> yep. Scott sighed. He couldn't honestly tell <laughs> if he was doing this for the animatronics or for his own peace of mind. Hi, everybody. Elsie Rowe here, and I really hope you guys enjoyed that <laughs> this this week's comic. It was really fun to write. I have been loving getting to explore um, Scott and Purple's relationship because it got really complicated, and it's been fun to see how complex their relationship really is. So in this episode, there was a little expanding of what we learned from them. So I'm going to start doing that more and adding more little fun pieces in there. Because, you know, why not? It's fun. <laughs> Plus, it's really fun looking back and drawing these guys as I used to draw them. It's because it's just fun to explore. <laughs> well, hey, y'all. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And I will see you all next time on our lovely show. Bye. <laughs>